hello guys welcome back to my channel this is ap media okay so i want to do a quick breakdown on this design that i made for my friend <coughs> yeah i want to do a quick breakdown on this design so i uh, walk us through the layers you can see the layers here so i'm going to turn off all the layers and we'll walk us through all the layers of this design okay so if this is your first time watching my videos or coming across my videos please i want to um crave your indulgence to please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that anytime i drop a new video um, you always get notified all right and you can like this video and share amongst your friends among graphic designers and the rest of them all right so having that said um i'm going to turn off all the layers of this design and i'll walk us through the process of how i created this design the how the images look like and what i was thinking while i created the design okay so i'll be turning off the layers now yeah and like i always say so the layers are not arranged in in chronological order that is i didn't do some of the things i did step by step okay i didn't do some of the things i did step by step so um you may have to bear with me all right so this is the plain white background so this is how the background was plain white and then <laughs> when you design on photoshop sometimes when you see this white background it can be it can be a little bit tricky because you're just seeing a plain white background and then you need to put something on it to look very fine and very beautiful so it can be tricky so one of the things i did was um now let me bring in one of the pictures this is the picture right this is the original picture although i had removed the background already so this is not how the original picture is um okay a minute let me look for the original picture all right all right welcome back welcome back so this is how the original picture looked like okay so look at this this is how the original picture looked like from the studio and when i got the picture okay so this was the background setting the photograph i used and then i liked the background a lot it made so much sense to me so when i saw the background i was like okay so i'm going to create something around this background my choice of colors my choice of images my choice of fonts and all of that is going to be based on this design so the background of this design was actually the first thing that inspired me to the colors i was going to use else um, i would just say okay what are the dominant colors in this um image the the jacket the color of the jacket the color of the face and this although i could still do something white but i feel um uh, these colors will contrast more with the background because of this um the stand and the seat where she's sitting if you use a plain white background it may be lost in some part of the design so i wanted to use something like this so let me turn this off so it was after that time i got this background yeah i got this background this was one background i downloaded from pinterest okay it's like a studio kind of background look at the name dark orange template scene okay let me turn this off this layer one so this is how the background looked like it looked like look at this it looked like the original one they used from the studio but this one is more saturated right it's more saturated and it pops more for me so um when i finally got this image i was like yeah i'm going to work with this image all right so this was the background this was the first background but after i got that i wanted to make it pop a little this is okay but i wanted to make it pop a little but i think i introduced this if you followed uh, my previous video i used this element for my previous video okay so i wanted to pop this background in fact i didn't use this one initially it was after some time before i considered using this light to pop it All right but then i later brought it so this is how the image looked like normal so i just changed the blend mode to screen to give it that um that light flares around it so that was that so i didn't use this image i didn't use this one i turned off i turned off this one it was this one i duplicated to get this see layer one and layer two 
So this is how layer two is. And then that is why I had to even increase, introduce this light effect at the back. Okay, so this is layer one. This was how it was. Then I increased the image. Let me take it down. Look at it. It's very, very big now. So I increased the image. I just increased it to fill up. Look at it. I even removed the hand from the... Look at it. <laughs> Alright, so this is how this image, this particular one. I removed this place, I removed the seat that she was sitting on, so I just blew it up to get something like this, alright, and look at that light, this is without the light, so without the light, it's going to be very, very flat, background will be very flat, but when I introduced this light, it brought that communication with the background and the image, alright, so it brought that communication with the background and the image, so um, I had that, then... I brought in another image this was another image look at how the image was and then this image this image was not like this the seat that she was sitting was not long like this all right so i removed the background and i extended the seat this place this place like this right i extended this place so that i can feel so that i can feel the screen all right so i did this and let's see what's here uh -uh. i grouped so many things here <laughs> okay let's open this group one let's open this group one and see what we have inside so let me turn off some of the things that are here and let's see okay this is my light effect yeah i brought this light effect on her face on her head on her forehead i brought this light effect here i now i kept on that one here to just pop the image a little and i have this text this one is just lorem himself i use this text to fill up space so i didn't i was not really writing anything here so it's just a dummy text and it looks like line so i just reduced it and kept it there um what is here what is this one okay this were the shadows shadows of the leg this is the image so i brought another image to stand here all right so i created shadows for the leg here so that was how i got this and i extended this uh, seat so that i could place another image here all right so that was why i extended the the seat she was sitting on so I think like this, if the design was, the design has done itself. <laughs> All right, but I needed to write happy birthday. I needed to add the date and a few other information. So, um, okay, I, I I drew this or I added, I used brush to, to create this effect um, by creating a new layer. All right, by creating a new layer and selecting your brush, right, brush to changing your foreground to white all right and using what your hardness should be zero percent then you could brush so this was how i got this whatever that was here let me delete layer six so this was how i got it. i wanted to to blend or to blow this down part a little so that i could write so that when i write you could easily read the text but I did not use it again because I I figured it out in another way. So let's see what is here. So I thought to draw a circle like this. Yeah, let's see like this. So I I thought to draw this. So I draw a shape. This is the one at the back. This is the one at the front. So this one hundred percent. The second one at the back. I increased it. I reduced the opacity to. So 50% yeah, 50% opacity and I added a little bit of I added the layer max I just chopped this part I wanted to keep something here sure, but I felt okay this is a nice effect let me just leave it like that instead of having it a complete round circle like <laughs> the Apple logo that if chopped one part out of it alright so I that was the idea of this one so i left it this was the layer marks 
Okay, I think I kept something there, Sha. What's there? So I wrote her name. I wrote her name. This font. This font is called. What's the name of this font again? Say, Adoria Demo. I, I, the font is called Adoria. This demo means um, it's not the original file of the font. So this is like the demo version of the font. So I use that. And okay, like I said, this these are not done in the chronological order the the uh, the layers are not arranged chronologically so um we're supposed to have maybe happy birthday before the names right and then the next layer is becoming this okay so uh let me explain what i did here now this is converted to a smart object let me open the smart object you can see you can see this clearly I wrote 310725, then I drew a shape. So I converted it to smart object because I wanted to create, I don't want it to just come to just lay flat the way this is flat and straight. Okay, so I wanted to create some form of perspective to this. So when I converted it to smart object, it became a single group. Let me lock these layers. It became a single group for me so I could added perspective by clicking on the edge and then select right click and select perspective so with perspective you can drag it like this right but i didn't do something like that i just added the perspective a little so that it it to create that feel of it's lying down but then i think i added something around here to just fill it up a little bit all right so let's go so we have this happy birthday. I use this font. This font is called brackets. Beckett. Sorry. Beckett. So this is the font. Beckett. Happy birthday. And I added a little bit of light effect on the font. Look at it. Like this. I use this color from the background. Right. I use this color from the background and I added this light effect on it. I added another I added this one on it and I use light lighter color. Let me take it lighter color and 20% opacity. So I use this. I was almost done with the design, but I wanted to create some form of grungy effect on the design. So I got this image. This one was also downloaded from FreePeak. Yeah. This one was downloaded from FreePeak. So I changed the blend mode to lighter color. Look at this um, lighter color. I like this effect. These effects. I used to make my design pop some uh, sometimes, but then this one is too much on the face, so I reduced the opacity to twenty percent. I think twenty percent got it for me, so I left it like that. All right. I think I'm missing something. okay this is what i was talking about on this 31st i added another rectangle here this one was just to make it balance right i created this on this one so that it could be a little bit balanced so that that place will not be fully empty and to create some form of interact interactiveness or interaction <laughs> at that place so that was that i added color lookup now look at if that the color lookup. I added color lookup, and I use multiply. And this is how the color lookup look look like, hundred percent. Let me take it to hundred percent. It was like this. All right. So I changed the blend mode to multiply. Became very dark, and I reduced opacity to ten percent. Okay, and I added this one. Confetti. It is like those celebration. Um, celebration golden celebration stuff you see around so i added this like this look at it so here 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 and dots what's this one <laughs> i was done with the design already but i i needed to create some interaction on the design so this one is just like a little bit of light i think it was it came with this confetti element okay so i added this one 
there are five what's here and there are five yeah i duplicated one of the uh confetti elements so that was what is here and i placed it at this part okay this one is light like fire effect let me let me turn off the layer marks that you see disable layer marks look at the fire <laughs> like how does it create that lighting light effect around it but it was too much so i brushed off this part i brushed off some other parts so that was what this one is so i added that layer marks to it then what is m here okay yes um here i wrote god bless you now okay um this is a font actually all right this is a font m so it's called against madness so let me just demonstrate it quickly so when you write when you select the font the font has it has different shapes so look at it it has different shapes so i use the m version of the font which was this so i use that one like this then the same god bless you man is another version of the font so against madness that's the name of the font look at it ding bats then the regular of the font has this like handwritten effect that was what i used for the god bless you man then <coughs> i usually do this when i'm done with my design i try to do color grade create do color look up color grade and just create some different variation of the particular design so i was done with the design i added another color look up remember i added one color look up here and i changed the blending mode to make the colors pop but this particular one i didn't change the blend mode so i just added this one and i did adjustment layer black and white to see how it's going to look in black and white this is the adjustment layer from here adjustment layer you can do vibrant hue saturation color balance black and white color look up so i use color look up i use black and white so i got this particular one so this is how i was able to reach all the things i did on this design so it was a really quick one all right so a really quick one and quite interesting for me so um, i didn't do much although i did some little things that you will not notice on seeing the design at home but those little, little things like i like i always say they are the things that build up and make up a very fine design all right those little things that you do that are not really noticeable when you create designs they are the things that make up a very good design on the long run all right so that was how i was able to reach this design okay so if you follow this video to this point please do me a favor and like this video share this video and please also subscribe to my youtube channel all right to help the um, channel grow and encourage me to keep creating contents like this to keep reviewing my designs and um, keep showing up with contents like this on your face right so that that was how i was able to come up with this design i hope this was helpful i hope you found this help please like this video like i said again share this video and subscribe to my channel all right so i'll see you in another video this is the media bye for now